Jones, we will see which which will float or sand in the water. Hello, my dear little friends. Welcome to dive into Pooja's book. As Yog mentioned, today we are going to see which things float in water and which things sink in water and most importantly why what are the forces at work when some things like huge ship it can float in water and even this tiny stone it will sink in water it's not always like the big things will sink in water and the small things will float over it it's not as simple as that what causes some things to sink and float well it's all about something called density. Do you know what density means? Well, everything around us is made up of tiny molecules. In some objects, these molecules are jam-packed together, just like in this stone. All the molecules in this stone are jam-packed together. And in some other objects, like this piece of wood, the molecules are loosely packed together. This is actually what density means. The objects that are jam-packed together have a higher density and the more loosely packed objects aren't as dense. They have less density. To make it more clear, imagine your own room. If you put 100 people inside your room, that means your room is jam-packed together with so many people. So your room is densely populated, it has more density. And if you are alone in your room, then it is very loosely packed together, so it is less dense. So it's as simple as that. So water molecules also have a density. So water also has density based on its molecules. So the basic principle is that the objects which will have higher density than water, they will sink in water and the objects which has less density than water, they will float in water. So let's do some really interesting experiments to explore this principle more. And meanwhile, we are going to tell you more fun facts. So just be with us. So we have this jar of water with us. We will put various objects in it. So Yug has put a plastic ball in it. So this plastic ball is completely filled with air. And hence, the air has less density than water. So you see, it is floating in water. Now we will put a stone in it. Let's see. Oh, it went straight inside. So the stone sank. Okay, put this. This is a wood. Okay, do you see? This small piece of wood, it is floating because wood has less density. Its molecules are loosely coupled together. Similarly, we can try to put a stick inside it. See, it is right coming outside. Even if I try to push it, see, it came out again. Even if you try to push it, have you tried to do this with, with beach balls? Beach balls are filled with air. Even if you try to push them inside, it will come out just like this. Because this wood has lower density than water, so it is floating on the water. Okay, so we are putting some leaves now. These are dry leaves. You see, they are so easily floating on the water. Okay, can you try to put... Okay, so you do see, this is a wet leaf. I think its density is more than water and hence it is going inside. Whether the dried leaves, they are just outside. Yoga is having so much fun while doing this experiment. Time for one more very interesting experiment. Now, see, Yog, what do you have in your hand? Orange. She has an orange, a full orange with the peel on it. Now, let us see what happens when you put this orange inside water. Okay, put it. So, you see, this orange is floating on the water. And now I have a peeled orange let's see what happens okay let's see what happens with the peeled orange now so as you saw 
the peeled orange has sink inside the water but the whole orange with the peel is floating on the water do you know the reason why what it's something to really think about i'll tell you the reason you know this whole mandarin or the whole orange with the peel is just like a person wearing a life jacket what is a life jacket why don't you sink in water when you have worn a white life jacket a life jacket is filled with a lot of air pockets it is made of lot of air pockets so the air it has less density less than water and hence the life jacket makes your body float on the water similarly the peel of this orange is acting like a life jacket for it this peel is made up of small air po- pockets that is helping the no, orange I mean. float if you remove the peel of the orange the cracks between the orange makes the segments fill with water making it more dense and hence it is sinking inside the water it was so fun to know yeah okay now let's continue with some more experiments okay i have a metal car and a wooden car almost of the same size let's see what okay so the metal car went straight inside to the bottom another metal car is going inside time for a wooden car let's see the wooden car is floating as we saw the wood wait, has wait, wait. less density wait. now let's think a minute about other large objects like a boat or maybe even an airship how does this sink or float in water some boats are massive and would seem very dense how did they stay float so how are they floating well basically the boat has to push the water aside so that there is room for it a boat has to displace the water equal to its own weight to be on the surface of the water so here comes another principle called buoyancy force which is the opposite of the force of gravity the gravity tries to pull it down however the buoyancy force is what pushing it upwards so while the ship or the boat is displacing the water the force of buoyancy is in place so to explain buoyancy a bit more let's see what will happen when we put a ice cube inside this water okay do you want to put the ice cube yog put yeah. it put it do you see the ice cube is floating the ice cube displaces if you see the ice cube displaces or moves some of the water to make way for itself the water level lies rises and the ice floats partially in and out of the water can you see again so it is displacing some water making way for itself some part of the ice is above and some part of the ice is below gravity is trying to pull this ice cube down and the buoyant force is pushing it up how far in or out the water your ice cube stays depends on its density now as you see the pushing and pulling forces are working together on this ice similarly on the ship and you see how why it floats on water similarly the water that the this swan is displacing with its legs you can clearly see the water that it's displacing and hence it is floating on the water so the ship the huge ships its hulls are filled with air sometimes the ship sink just like titanic what happened there when it crashed with an iceberg holes were made in it so the water came inside and the water displaced the air inside the hull and hence the boat became more heavy due to the water and the air went outside so the boat became more heavy and hence it sank okay now let's see what happens what did you do you have more you love it more experiment he has marbles okay these marbles are made of glass let's see what happens to them okay can you see okay so this marble is made of glass it sank inside 
it sank inside okay what more do we have we have an egg here okay let's see what happens to the egg put it slowly you the, uh, the egg has also sunk inside because the egg's shell's density is more than the density of water we have this plastic cup so if you see plastic cup will float in water now you has filled the cup with water if now we have filled the cup with water and if we put the cup filled with water it is almost sinking okay you did you like all the experiments we did today yes wasn't this a lot of fun so you is not getting enough of it you similarly you also grab such things in at your home some metal spoons or all such things and do this experiment write down in the comment section as to which objects did you try which objects float and which objects sink let me know in the comment section if you liked and learned from this video press the like button right now and yes do share this with all of your friends and family so that more and more people learn in a fun way don't forget to subscribe to get free updates on such new videos <laughs> See you in the next video. Happy learning. Happy bye bye. Reading. Happy reading. Of course, happy reading. Bye bye. Thank you.